Yo, yo, welcome to Smallmouth Crush. I'm on Lake Champlain today, the official practice for the FLW Costa Series. Stop number one of the Northern Tour. Ooh, we got some work ahead of us. I'm gonna explain, get into it all. It's all coming up. All right, so here we are, beautiful Lake Champlain. Although it's not that beautiful today, weather-wise, stiff south breeze. It's actually supposed to pick up today. You know, I woke up bright and early, dark and early, ready to go with a game plan in my mind. And uh, man, kind of have to, you kind of have to adjust based on the weather conditions. Uh, it's gonna be a, a lot of wind. It's not gonna be ideal for what I need to do. It cuts into what I really need to do during practice, probably not gonna be able to do it that well. And what do I mean by that? Well, there's a couple different patterns emerging on the lake. You know, I just fished the uh, FLW BFL last week, took a top 10 there uh, with 18 pounds, 10 ounces. Uh, we were right there, ounces away. But it was a spawning deal, and it still is for the majority of these fish. Now, there's gonna be a lot of different patterns. There's gonna be your largemouth guys, there's gonna be a Ticonderoga deal, there's gonna be the upper end of the lake. You know, guys are gonna try to find some good largemouth. Both post-spawn and spawning largemouth are available. Uh, but I excel this time of year. My strengths will be uh, fishing for smallmouth, but I have to have the right conditions in order to find them. And so that's been a challenge. There's a lot of fish on beds, but it's finding the three and a half, the three and three quarters, the four pounders, that's a challenge. I didn't really find anything over four in the uh, BFL. I found some high threes, but only a few of them. I looked yesterday and I was only able to find two fish over three and a half pounds. So. In, and conditions weren't that great yesterday either, especially later in the afternoon uh, when it got cloudy and a little difficult and I was kind of in the wrong zone for doing that. So today I'm gonna start out actually, you know, I'm in an area that's gonna have some pre-spawners as well as hopefully some spawners. That's what I'm really gonna concentrate on. Because it's early right now, we have low light conditions. I'm gonna start out just kind of looking for some cruisers, just kind of blind casting, seeing what's going on in some certain areas. And then I'm gonna have to try and get to work here. It's supposed to maybe get, have a little bit of sun later this afternoon, but it's gonna be blowing. So I may have to jump around, put in some different ramps, but I really, man, I need four good days and I'm only gonna get two after today to try and locate. I'm gonna need 30 or 40 fish marked. Uh, there's gonna be other guys that are gonna find them. It's a three-day event, hopefully. You know, top, everyone fishes the first two days, and I believe the top 10 fish the last day. I do have an area that's producing some post-spawn smallmouth and some good ones, but if you can see them, typically in a tournament, if you can see the fish and your competitors can see the fish, you have to go and catch those fish that you can see, the bedding fish. It's very, very hard to compete when other guys are looking right at them, know exactly where that three pound, 13 ounce fish is, that three pound, 10 ounce fish, and can just go there, go there, boom, 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 and, and grab them and have a healthy bag where you're just kind of blind casting and working some different things. Plus the post-spawn fish, majority of them, are not gonna be as big as they are later in the summer. There's still some good fish, don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, a four and a half, five pound smallies actually Hard to come by on this on this lake. They're they're out here, but they're not abundant like they are in the Great Lakes and some of the other fisheries in the country. A lot of fish, though. There's a lot of fish in this system, and so I just got to go find it. I'm done talking. Let's get out there. Let's see if we can put something together here in the next couple of days. I hope you guys enjoy our practice videos, and uh, wish me well in the tournament coming up. All right, we're off. Let's go. A little bumpy out there. Actually, it was a bumpy morning. Not just because of the wind. I lost battery power early. I was able to locate a couple fish on beds. Nothing too serious. But most of my morning was spent dealing with batteries and some storms. You'll see what I mean. Oh, well 
did the rain stop? What a crazy, crazy day. Uh, it's not crazy, it's, it's typical. What a typical day in the life of Travis during the tournament. So, just waited out a rainstorm. I'm at a different launch. Yes, long day. Uh, waited out a storm. Had to go to another. I had batter issues, plain and simple. It's a long story. I'm not gonna. Well, let's go over it real quick. All right, real quick. So I run lithiums. I run two of them. You have to have two 36 volt lithiums in order to function in a, you know, summertime up north where it stays light for 18 hours a day. So if you're fishing from sun up till sundown and you're moving, a one lithium uh, 36 volt is not gonna cut it. So I have two. Well, about a month and a half, almost two months now, my lithiums cut out on me. Uh, they just stopped working. Both of them, kind of at the same time. It was, it was odd. So called up the company, got them shipped back, and I got one of them back about three weeks ago. Still waiting on the other one. Haven't heard a thing. I've been contacting uh, the person, I'm not gonna name names, contacted them multiple times, emailed everything, wanted an update, I don't get that. And so you come here and you have to put some time in, you know, I need to be on the water. And so I, w I had to go to Walmart w when I took these, took the lithiums out to get them replaced. I went to Walmart and got three of the uh, Everstarts, right? And they've been fine. Um, I haven't been going hard on them, but they were, they got me through. And, it was a headache and a hassle, and I shouldn't have to do that. You know, I should have, if you're gonna spend so much money on this stuff, this, this stuff should work, but of course we know it doesn't. It's rare when things ever go right, it seems, when it comes to fishing in boats. But, uh, so where am I going with this story? I'm just, I'm rambling because I am frustrated and I do want to get out there and I don't want to be talking to you guys about it. But it makes for a good video, I think. My issues, um, where was I? Okay, so I plugged in the other night and they died around six hours into it. I thought, okay, no big deal. Maybe they're just, uh, I forgot to charge it or something happened with connection at the hotel. Get up this morning, all lights were green. I head out there, I'm three hours into it and she just starts falling, falling, falling and dies. So now I'm a little upset. I get on the phone with my dude, called him again, didn't, didn't hear from him. So I have no idea if I'm ever gonna get my other lithium and if he's ever gonna call me. Uh, so I went to Walmart again and bought three new ones to um, to go with. So hopefully we can make this work. Uh, I'm wasting a lot of time uh, this morning. I need to be looking for fish. I need to be looking for fish, so let's go look for fish. Man, I covered a lot of water during practice and only stumbled upon a handful of fish and nothing that I was really excited about. So that's it for the day. Um, it was kind of a wasted day, it really was. So we'll uh, let's catch up in the morning here. All right, guys, here we are, day day two of official practice. Lake Champlain again, getting ready for the. Costa, Costa series. I'm excited. Not really. Uh, it's a little breezy today. Uh, conditions aren't right. They're not setting up for me. You know, I could. You have. To, I have to find these fish. I have to look for them. It, you know, and the conditions yesterday weren't that great, and today's pretty bad. Uh, at least there's some sun. Partly, partly sunny. But I need to start looking for them. Wish I had like. I wish you could take like today and be like, okay, I'm gonna go look for some post-spawn fish and just fish, you know what I mean? Throw a Carolina rig, throw a tube, throw a drop shot, throw some top water, whatever the case, but 
in order to compete here, I believe, I feel you have to be looking at them. So we're going to battle it out here. We're going to do a little flogging, flogging most of the day. Jumping around trying to locate some more beds. Try to find some big fish. A lot of the fish got picked off here in that last BFL. I've noticed a lot of empty beds. Um, so we got to just get out here, figure this deal out. Oh buddy, so I thought I would give you guys a little mid-day update. I got a bunch of three-pounders marked now, and that's that's it. Uh, it's just tough. Just a couple threes. Um, it's probably how big are you? Two pounds. It's probably not going to do much give me 15 pounds a day so I can't find any big ones so we got a day and a half left to go need to find some big fish otherwise oh man that was a big beauty there roamer though otherwise we're gonna have a tough deal here we're gonna have to really have to get on some post spawn fish if I can't find any betters that's where we're at. I'm going to keep working. Yo, yo, hey, hey, we did it, we did it. What did we do? Well, we fished hard and long today. Oh my God, I am sore up and down, up and do down, the, up and I can't even talk, flogging away, sight fishing, looking, searching. Come on, pole, pole stuck, pole stuck in the dock. Let's go, there we go. All the way though. Coming in hot and heavy and crooked. Oh, it's hard to film and drive at the same time. We'll line her up, right? Okay, where was I? 
Yeah, long and hard. I am beat up. Fingers, fingers, thumbs, body, knees. Am I getting too old for this? Am I getting too old for this? No, absolutely not. I'm just hardcore. All right, let's head her back, guys. I'm going to re-reg. Tomorrow I'm fishing with uh, Sean. Sean's like the all-star co-angler. One of the very few co-anglers I'll actually fish with, just so you know. But we got some work to do. I So today I found, I don't know, a couple dozen, three to 3.6, like nothing... I could, I'll have 16 pounds in the tournament, uh, 15 to 16, so I'm going to have to find some bigger fish or I'm going to have to go grab those fish and then fish for those post-spawn fish and hope for the best. Uh, 17 to 18 a day is ideal, uh, but things up north are slim pickings. A lot of those fish got taken last week in that BFL and uh, a lot of empty beds, so we're going to do mid-lake for a little bit, weather permitting tomorrow. See if those uh, fish moved up, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a little more searching tomorrow as well, and hopefully run across a couple key fish. I got a couple good fish I can start on. I mean, good, you know, you know, something I can at least get a good limit, a healthy limit, keep me in the game. You can't lose on day one, but how's that go? You can't win on day one, but you certainly can lose on day one, and that's not what we want to do. We don't want to be losers here at Smallmouth Crush. See you guys in the next